Prospective parliamentary candidates in the Tiverton and Honiton constituency were grilled by an audience on Wednesday in the Senior Council for Devon's election debate at the Tiverton Hotel. The chairman, Councillor Bob Deed, had to make sure he kept control over the panel and the audience, as when the first question was asked at around 7.30, it did provoke a fiery response. Bill Jones. Thank you very much. Bill. Yes, my question to, um, sorry, yeah, it's, okay. it's a bit low. Yeah. Uh, my question to the three, what I call, main parties is, why are you afraid to give the British people a vote on whether they wish to stay in the European Common Community or whatever it's called? <laughs> Thank you. I, we've basically we've not got a tradition of referendum in this country. Um, that, 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 okay. I mean that's that 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 is if members of parliament are elected to actually make okay, to make decisions on on your behalf. And, uh, and the, the issue of referendum, uh, I mean, I, I had a debate with somebody the other day who was asking me about whether we, we felt, felt that we should have a referendum on abortion and lots of things. And my answer to you is really that you elect your MPs and to represent you and to make those decisions in Parliament. We tried our damnedest to get a referendum on that issue. In the end, it was voted out by Parliament because we didn't have enough members of Parliament, and actually because of the majority the Labour Party has. In the Lords, it was also scuppered, in, and our Liberal Democrat friends there were not able to support a referendum, even though they had all said all along. Now, I bemoan as much as you do that you haven't got, got a referendum, but I can say to you, we seriously fought for it. I do actually think there is time that we had a referendum on Europe, because I think perhaps it will put it behind us. And what you are asking, all the main parties in this, is that, forget about Lisbon, forget about everything else that's happened in the last five years, we want a referendum on the European Union, and so do the majority of the British public, because that's where the majority of our laws are made, and most people are not happy that our democracy is being sold down the river to Brussels, and it's totally unacceptable. It would put matters to bed. We would decide one way or the other, we were in or out. I should say, though, I think, there are an awful lot of myths about Europe, and uh, it doesn't control the UK. We do make our own laws and make our own decisions. And I, for one, um, I, for one, have never seen a straight banana. So I'll be very concise. You were asking um, why we haven't had a referendum in or out on the European Union. Actually, we put one before Parliament in the last Parliament. It was voted down very, very heavily. Um, it will be proposed by us again in the next Parliament. Okay. Fair reply. As the person put in the question, can I say what I think about their reply? Very <laughs> good. Yeah. Well, look, look, the, the, the point is we have a lot of questions to get through. You've asked the panel. Um, we're, we're trying to get the views of the panel and with respect, not necessarily the views of each individual here. Because I'm sure on a lot of these subjects, everybody would have a lot to say. Yeah, well just, could I just say, I'll give you the back. I'm until 10 years ago. I'm sorry, sir, you have the feeling of the meeting, and we must move on. I'm sorry, sir, but question time does allow the questioner to come back at the end of the debate. We are not the BBC, sir. We are. Well, you're not democratic then, are you? <laughs> if, if, if that is your view, Please you sit down. There are lots of other things to talk about tonight. I don't think there are. There are. And moving on. Sue uh, what? The night continued with members of public putting their own questions towards the panel of five about issues ranging from dementia care to young people. The final question of the night was a well thought out and humorous way of ending the evening. From Bob, Bob Gold. Uh, thank you Mr Chairman for allowing me to uh, 
ask this convoluted question. Um, I'm an active member of the Senior Council for Devon, and as such, I spent some time distributing cards around Tiverton about this meeting. And I was amazed just how cynical the bulk of the public are. Um, how do the panel feel about the possibility of being elected to the group of most mistrusted people in the country? <laughs> and following that, following that, are they actually aware of the derivation of the word politics? Uh, does it come from the word poly, meaning many, and ticks, meaning bloodsuckers? <laughs> I, I must say that when I, I mean, I've been involved in sort of a member of the Labour Party there for about four or five years. When I saw the the reports in the Daily Telegraph day after day after day after day about sort of MPs expenses. I just felt as if I just don't want to have anything to do with this law and I'm going to sort of get out of politics. But then what I felt was, well hang on a minute, my philosophy is I can't criticise unless I'm prepared to actually go in and do something myself. Again, I'd echo what Vernon says. It, it, went, to, it went to tragedy and then beyond to comedy when we heard about the, the duck houses and the moats and the, the bags of manure was my absolute favourite one. I mean, what were they thinking of? But it just, it just makes you think, can we get some sort of vaguely sensible people into Parliament in place? Okay. If a UKIP MP was to be elected in this election, it would be on the basis that everyone wanted a genuine change. We actually call ourselves the real opposition because we are a genuine opposition party to the current political elite. And if I was elected, I'd be elected on the basis of the British interest coming first over any other interest, and politicians are there to serve, not to rule, and that's how I'd be based it on. Well, I do think it's a shame we've lost a lot of respect for our MPs, but they haven't done a lot to deserve it recently. Um, I guess, I think Colleague here, like John, I would live with the consequences of being the most hated person in Tiverton, and hopefully I could turn it around. At the end of the day, we have to govern this country, we have to get rid of this debt, we have to get the economy moving. That is what it's all about, and we represent this constituency. So I always say I'm a farmer as well as a politician. Now, farmers aren't universally popular, but probably more popular than politicians at the moment. <laughs> Thank you very much. Gentlemen, thank you very much for coming this evening. My thank well, it was very good. Uh, interesting to see everybody, and and, all, and I am staunchly support the Conservatives. I'll have some time to think about it, but I have to congratulate all the speakers. It was very professionally done. So you know, who do you choose? I was actually going to be voting UKIP, um, but now I've changed my mind and I'm going for Neil Parrish. I thought he came over um, very positive. No, it's, con it's confirmed my opinion that the only party that will serve this country the best is Labour, a Labour government, because they will look after the people, the poorer people in our society. With the debate now over, it was time to see how the candidates thought they'd fared. To knock on doors and talk to 160 people, well, it would take me, it would take me probably more than a day. So to get your message across to you know, 160 people in, in a single hit, as it were, is, is very welcome. And I wish in many ways there were more of these debates and you could sort of speak to 500 in a go. I think it was a very good debate. I, I was relaxed. I felt people were asking good questions. And we all, we weren't rude to each other. We were actually debating, talking about our policies and, and really getting a message over. I thought it went well tonight. I, I thought the night went very well. What I was amazed by the number of people that were here and, and the interest. And, and it was not just senior council members. You know, as, you, as you probably saw, we had somebody here who was 16, a member of the Youth Parliament. So, and the questions were good and the debate was good. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, yes. The atmosphere tonight, I feel, was very, very, actually, very uh, apathetic in some return because people were looking for a bit of change. I mean, as a UKIP candidate, I did feel I got quite a bit of applause on the basis of my points put forward. So people are looking the idea of change. Um, the Labour guy, unfortunately, didn't get a very good reception. It's quite clear that a very anti-government reception in Tiverton and Honiton. But as it stands, I think overall, quite a positive reception for myself and possibly the Tories as well. Well, the election campaign is certainly well underway here with about two weeks to go now into the election itself and candidates hope that with good performances put into public appearances like this they can turn that into votes and hopefully 
become an MP in the next Parliament. I'm Lewis Clark reporting for Lewis News here at the Tiverton Hotel.